Hi, this is Matt Amberson, the principal of ORATS, and today I want to use the Earn Move report and scanner to make some option trades in this busy earnings season. Uh, first of all, when we open up the Earn Move report, uh, we'll notice firstly that uh, we're showing the number of companies reporting on the certain dates, and we'll see that let's see here, 1,100 are reporting over the next seven business days. It's about a third of all the stocks out there. We do a thing called the average effect, and that's how much more than usual stocks should move on their earnings day. So 200% means it sh that stock should move about two times what they normally move. So we could see that uh, on these on these days, you know, 29th looks like a busy day. All these looks like uh, pretty busy days. So let's go ahead and try to identify a stock uh, that we think may move a lot during earnings. Um, I like to have an, a minimum option volume. These are all Excel based drop down auto filter uh, that you could set. So we'll set a custom for uh, option volume over the last 20 days greater than 400. And then we'll go over and do a special option return calculation that ORATS does and we'll short, sort descending and um, I'll, now I'll go ahead and explain what this means. We backtest the earnings environment that the stocks are currently in and we look at the amount the call implied volatility versus put implied volatility those strikes have moved in relation to each other we look at how much the implied volatility itself has moved and how over or undervalued a stock is compared to the ORATS forecast. And then we'll term that as the environment the stock is in right now. And they, the stocks would have to be outside of a one standard deviation in order for that to be flagged. So SANM, uh, the slope is up and it's undervalued. And when that has happened in the past, five of six times you've made money at earnings time. So we're going to go ahead and, and the average is 32% that you've made at that, at that time. So we're going to consider this a good buy. And now what we'll do is, is we'll look at the ORAT scanner in order to find some options in order to trade. So we'll log in to the ORAT scanner and we'll set up uh, from the default we'll set up uh, a custom list and we'll just type in SANM and uh, we want to be buying options uh, we'll do well, we want to see four of the top options the stock price uh, this doesn't really matter the, the option price doesn't matter days of expiration 0 to 120 the absolute delta we will do 20 to 60 and now that we use absolute uh, so we could get the calls and puts we'll take out the yield pickup that has more to do with option rights as does the call away and we'll add uh, an option criteria here we'll add the ORATS forecasted edge and if you mouse over the I it says it's the ORATS theoretical forecast value divided by the option or spread price so we'll click on the hyperlink add criteria since we're buying we want the highest relation of the theoretical value to what's in the market. We'll turn that on and we'll go ahead and do a scan and see what comes up for SANM. Well it wants us to buy the May 20 calls. The stock price is 1903. The option price is approximately 0.73. 26 days to expiration. The delta is 40. Uh, the forecast divided by the option price is 1.53 so that looks like a high one. Uh, so uh, again just to briefly go over what we've done we have used the Earn Move special report that you could get emailed to you to identify and sort on the highest option return for stocks with a certain amount of volume. Uh, it's, we uh, were able to put how many days to, to uh, earnings. We, uh, we could put zero for that. And these are the stocks that are coming up with earnings uh, on uh, 426 after the close, as we see here. So hope this has been helpful. Thanks for your interest in ORATS, and my email is matt at orats.com. Thanks.